so the wife and I have made it out here to Shallow Ford, uh, like a it's like a little nature park or a nature trail, and um, it's kind of on a misty day, almost kind of raining off and on. Uh, definitely raining the forecast, but we're gonna do probably a two mile little trek here. We're going to check out the little campgrounds here. There's supposed to be a little area. Shallow Ford's not the most beautiful place to go, but it is right in the backyard, and so I think that's why we decided to go ahead and and uh, do this one today. It's Saturday. I think it's the last day of November. It might even be the first day December. of December. Is it December? December. So, so it is December now. So I brought out the um, the Survivor, see what is it called? Survivor Filter Pro. Survivor Filter. And we may actually end up stopping uh, on a little stream there if we can. Uh, and just kind of having a little bit of fun uh, teaching Jesse kind of how to work the filter in case she ever has to on her own. Or, uh, you know, in case we're out camping and, and the bear gets me. And, and doesn't get her, then of course she'll at least know how to get something to drink. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start heading off here. Uh, I've got the map kind of traced out onto my uh, onto my Garmin Phoenix. So let me get a point down. So there's where it says here Shallow Ford Camp. That's where we're going at today. 2.13 miles. Uh, when I click that, it's going to uh, it's actually going to load it. Let's see if we can get it to where you can see it. And it says do course, so I'm going to do the course. And it'll actually bring up a little map here for me. And it'll actually start pointing the way. So that little arrow, and there's different screens and different fields that you can look at, but it's going to actually point the direction that we're supposed to be going and tell me when to turn, things like that. The trail isn't hard. It's, it's nothing complex, but it's a good opportunity uh, for me to try out the Phoenix 5 and, and see how it works. So. I'm tracking the height. You're tracking a hike too. Do I got my phone. I got some. Yeah, I got my phone and apparently my snack. So. Oh, I have my watch, so I don't need my phone. Oh, because Jesse has the um, Apple Watch Series Three, which will make calls for her without using her phone. So that's kind of nifty. Assuming, you know, where you at, you'd have signal. And here's Shallowford Natural Area, which borders right along uh, the Hall River. So we'll be end up going up this way today. We'll be taking the blue path over. And then on up is supposed to be the camping paddle access. So there's the little campground area right there. So that's where we're going to. So should be it's right on the river or on the yeah, right next to the river there. Really not a lot of stream action on that side. Most of your streams over here. So we may not end up having anything unless we get it early right about there. Or maybe on the way back. So so that way people don't think it's your So maybe as you can see as we're walking here on the Phoenix, it's actually tracing our trail in purple. I think that's the color. And uh, so it's kind of telling us which direction to turn. Now, you actually really don't need that on this trail. It's easily marked. You can see where the, the leaves are matted down. And the trail is easy to follow in most spots. So, But just testing this out, if you were using it, say, in a national forest or something where a lot of times I hear people complain that uh, the trails aren't ma marked very well and there's a lot of uh, crossover trails or you know connector trails then uh, it might become pretty useful so so everything's pretty wet leaves are wet but it's not really slippery not like I thought it would be I think there's always a reason not to come out hiking and uh, even today would have been, for most people, you know, a perfectly good reason to not come out and do a hike. But uh, if we waited for conditions to be perfect, we'd never go. So, and when you're, you know, a parent and you've got several kids and some who are on activities and others that are sick and stuff, when you get the opportunity, you kind of got to take it. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd walk across that if I didn't think that uh, I was going to go down in it. We got a nifty old bridge. Oh, look, man, the tree went down on that one. Look at that. Going to have to do the old uh, limbo routine there. Probably. 
So our first obstacle of our little little hike. And uh is that did that piece break off and fall into the water right there? Yeah, it did, yep. Got a nice little stream pouring into another creek here that eventually joins in with the Hall River over there. So We're going to do a circle, so I think we're going to go... You notice the red part right there tells me that's the way I'm coming back. And the little blue guy is me. So we're going to end up going here off here to the right. So apparently I misread my watch and we were off course a little bit because it was pointing me backwards this way. So we're going to head back up here to where it splits off and go the other direction. I have no idea where Jessie is. I done, done lost her. She's fast. Oh well. Ah! <laughs> Good thing we're adults. Oh look. Yep, there's not a not a nice good trail out there without one of those in it. Whoever in Abby and H H R H H is. <laughs> yeah, we hope you guys are still kicking. So I think we're close to the campground. Or what's supposed to be the campground. Yeah, here's the hall that we know. Yeah, sure. There's a little sign back here that said camping area three. So apparently there's three. Smart, I know. So we come up here and they actually have a tree down, but um, a little open area here has a little fire pit. So kind of reminds you of just uh, camping out in a little, you know, a little campground, if you will. But uh, a little leftover lighter fluid there. It even feels like there's a little bit in it. We'll leave it for the next guy. Somebody has a nice little tarp set up across the way. I don't know if you can see that blue, that blue tarp over there, but somebody's got a little setup. So that was campground three. So apparently there's two more of them up here. Okay. So we just came up the trail here to campground number two. Again, you have a fire ring with some rocks around it. Um, this one has some bigger trees close by the fire ring. Um, that's maybe a bit short for a hammock. These two, but there's there's other options. There's that must be campground number one. It's just walking distance away. I can see the uh, that little trail here, and there's the other uh, fire ring. So I guess if you had two groups. And you want to spread out, you can make this happen. Huh? Somebody has really uh, worked what appears to be a C inside of a heart. So, clay. And so when you're out in the woods and you're camping and stuff, a lot of times in the morning, you got that morning constitutional comes along. And sometimes you're always searching for that perfect spot, you know, to go to number two and stuff. But I've just found nature's perfect toilet. It needs a little modifications in there. It could be a little bit um, hazardous, but I think if you can, uh, if you don't mind leaning a little bit, you're going to be in good shape. How's that? Perch yourself right up on the back of that bad boy. Legs down the side. A couple sharp guys there. You're going to have to, you have to navigate that or break him off. And you've got it. Boom. Generously provided by Mother Nature herself. You're welcome. If nature's perfect toilet doesn't work and you're feeling, you know, brave, there you go. Again, you're welcome. I mean, you think that's where the deer was coming from? You think that's his spot? I think that's his spot. There's a house there once. What makes you think, oh, there was. How cool is that? Hmm. Jesse says there's a house here and there looks like what is left of a um, chimney. So was the house built by stone? Because after walking over all this stuff. Oh, no, that's... You ever seen the movie The Ring? Down in here, 
Good thing. Hey, Jesse. You ever seen the ring? That's what this reminds me of is that movie, The Ring, where they... It's missing its... So it's not a chimney. That's weird. I'm looking at it. Ooh, ooh, that goes down a ways. Ooh. You want to come look in it? <laughs> it goes down. I mean, it goes down. So. They do. They have metal grade up in the top of it. So, but still, makes you kind of a little dizzy when you look in it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, could there be something? Some somebody? Yeah. Anyways, foot right there on that one with your heel, foot and you're there. See your left foot heel? Oh, that one worked. Yeah, that worked. Yeah, there you go. Alright, easy peasy. The lid that comes with this guy, that goes over top of it, you can, you can use as a cup. And so that's what we're going to do. Just drink right out of it. So. There you go. She's just going to drop it off into the water. Let her float, yep. Got the return hose in, and she's gonna pump it in. And just make sure your bottom part ain't pinched up, and you'll be all right. There you go. See what you think. Tastes like water. Has some sweet taste to it. Look clean, don't it? Sure. Uh, if not, I was gonna get you. You want some more? I'm good. You don't want the last drink? I will never eat my last glass of wine. Get you the last drink. That's probably why they have a lid on it so it doesn't just leak in the bag. Yeah, oh. I, I, didn't, I didn't have that big of a mouth. I was not realizing. <laughs> so there we go. Some pretty yummy water, actually, from the Survivor Filter Pro. Um, I got that one in the Sawyer one. I thought this would be kind of neat to have, and and uh, but they both taste like water, so I guess it's all right. But but uh, anyway, so now we're gonna finish up our trip, get back on the trail, head out. We found the campgrounds for today. Got to, got a chance to look at the Hall River. Got to oh, test out the water filter. Yeah, it looks like some. I don't know if you see it on the camera, but it looks like some fog coming in through the trees and stuff. So that's kind of a kind of a neat little deal. But uh, we'll uh, we'll run out of here. The old battery's down to about three percent on the old GoPro, so. We're gonna end the trip here. We ain't but maybe a quarter mile from the from the parking area. So it's been a good hike. Got to enjoy some new sites we haven't seen. Check out some of the campgrounds. So thanks for coming along with us. We'll see y'all later. It's getting dark and uh, fog's rolling into the trees and we still haven't found camp.